friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. So Applejack has uprooted one of their trees and they're taking it to be replanted. You talk about it as if it's your baby or something. Who are you calling a baby? Bloomberg's no baby. Don't whip with a weary make go all shady witty. Wow, Applejack, you're usually one of the more sensible ones. I was up early fire roasting those snacks you're all eating and I'm pooped. Some of these popcorn kernels didn't get popped. Way to go, Spike. Good night. What's up with that shading effect? It looks like a bad Photoshop job. What tree? You mean Bloomberg? No. Fluttershy. Fluttershy's not a tree, silly. You know, she's not a tree, right? Twilight is usually one of the more sensible ones, too. I'd like to be a tree. And a meme was born. The next morning... <gasps> Yay, Bison exists in Equestria! That makes me so happy. Anyway, they start attacking the train. So Rainbow Dash goes to try to put a stop to it. And that doesn't work out too well. Meanwhile, the little bison unhatches the last car, the one carrying the tree, and they steal it. The rest of them arrive at their destination and meet AJ's cousin Brayburn, who Welcome to Appaloosa! is really proud of his little town. Your train is a full seven minutes late. That's seven minutes less for you to delight in the pleasures and wonders of Appaloosa! He's such a big dork. Like horse-drawn carriages. And those there are horse-drawn, horse-drawn carriages. And here's where we have our Wild West dances. And here's where we have our Mild West dances. Oh my god, so many puns. And here's the most wonderful sight in all of Appaloosa! Brightburn! First harvest should be any day now. Brightburn! Good thing, too. Bright! Because we need that grub to live on. Brightburn! Yeah, really, shut the hell up. Some of our friends are missing. A stampede of buffalo. They took Spike! It's a little early, but I think Best Face Award goes to Brayburn. So they tell him everything that happened, and he tells them that the ponies of his town and the bison are at odds with each other. Did you say buffalo? We put a lot of hard work into this land so we could feed our town, our families, our foes. And now they're saying all these trees have to go? It ain't fair. Yes, I know they call them buffalo here, but really bison is the proper term, and it's what I'm used to saying, so I'm going to stick with it. Consistency be damned. Meanwhile, Rainbow Dash runs into Pinkie Pie. Almost literally. The more of us there are out here, the more chances of us getting caught. Stop! And apparently Spike made friends with the bison. Hey, no worries, I know those guys. They're cool. If you say so, Spike. Catch you later, bro. Oh my god, that was adorable. Let's see it again. Catch you later, bro. And Mr. Spike, mm. you like gemstones, yes? Okay, so the little bison that Rainbow Dash had it out with, yes, this is a bison, is called Little Strongheart. You! You! Please accept my apologies for what happened on the train. We didn't mean for anyone to be hurt. So apparently it's very important to these bison to be able to run through their traditional stampeding grounds. My father stampeded upon these grounds, and his father before him. But the ponies planted trees over it, and neither group is willing to budge. And... I think they get the idea, Chief. <laughs> Rainbow Dash just sits there looking angry the whole time. I'll say they had a good reason. Come on! But it turns out that she's angry with the ponies and not the bison. Let's go! Meanwhile, the rest have decided to go look for them. Explain to the Appaloosans why they should move the apple trees off Buffalo Land. That information will be quite helpful. That's weird. Personal space, you guys. Jeez. Why they should let the apple trees stay. That would be a useful thing to- The land is theirs! The funny part is that Little Strongheart and Brayburn are willing to discuss it, but everyone else just wants to fight about it. Hey! I've got an idea! So, Pinkie Pie has an idea to bring them all together. With a song. Arguing's not the way. Hey, come out and play! It's a shiny new day. So, what do you say? You gotta share. Welcome to what is one of very few songs in this series I actively dislike. Though I get a kick out of the fact that the gist of it is that the ponies and the bison should get along because they're all undulates. But of you all, I beg 
you remember we're all hoofed at the end of each leg? To be fair, I think it's supposed to be bad going by the reaction it gets. It appears that Sheriff Silverstar and I have come to an agreement. We have. That was the worst performance we've ever seen. I agree. If anything, I think she got them more riled up. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow. The bison are going to stampede on their usual path and run over anything that gets in their way. And of course, the ponies are going to fight back. So basically, this means war. And this is how ponies prepare for war, apparently. Why won't anybody be rational and reasonable? You said anybody. That's bad pony grammar, Twilight. At least the bison look like they could be a threat. I know you don't want to do this. I love this little scene between Rainbow Dash and Chief Thunderhooves. You really get a sense of how much bigger and physically powerful the bison are, but he talks to her like an equal. What would you have me do, Rainbow Dash? But it's never too late to think of something. At noon, it will be too late. The next day, those are some pissed off ponies. It looks like Chief Thunderhooves is having second thoughts. Say, you gotta share, you gotta care. God damn it, Pinky, you're why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Only an Equestria is a pie fight serious business. Meanwhile, the bison create a lot of property damage. Again, they're the only ones who come across as dangerous. Like I said, serious business. Death by pie, how tragic. Um, hey, I've got a much better idea. So the bison agree to let most of the orchard stay in exchange for pies. Would it be great if it worked that way in reality, America could just ship a bunch of apple pies to the Middle East? You've got to share. You've got to care. Hey! That's what I said! And so ends over a barrel. I like this episode a lot, but it's not one of the best. It's just fun. And I adore bison, so it's great seeing them portrayed on this show. And so accurately, too. They've really got that whole big, powerful, and majestic, yet adorable thing down. Actually, it's kind of funny going to the My Little Pony wiki and looking at the comments section under the little Strongheart page and see people go, I don't think that's a buffalo. It looks more like a deer. Um, no, actually, this is exactly what a young bison looks like. They almost look like a completely different species than adult bison. Aren't they cute? They look like little red pocket cows. Where I used to live, I got to drive by a herd of bison on the way to work every day, and I realize that not everyone is able to do that, but it's kind of a pet peeve of mine when people spout off about something before doing research. Anyway, there isn't a whole lot to say about this episode. It has kind of an Old West feel with the whole cowboys versus Indians thing, and the moral is the standard everyone should try to get along with each other. I'll admit it, if not for the bison, I probably wouldn't love it so much. But Brayburn is a really fun character, and it's too bad that it takes a while for him to get another speaking role. The title of this episode is actually very punny. Literally, over a barrel means to be in a helpless, weak, or awkward position. However, the word barrel can also refer to the torso of a horse. So, over a barrel could also sort of mean over my dead body if it was being said by a talking horse. And since this episode is all about two sides opposing each other and neither is willing to budge, it's very appropriate. And one more fun fact, Chief Thunderhooves was voiced by none other than Scott McNeil. I cannot think of a better choice for a character like this. Next up is a bird in the hoof. See you then. Kinda huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. <laughs> Would you all be quiet now? <laughs> <laughs>